Hello everyone, I'm German Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Kaiserreich, playing as the German Empire. So last time, we pushed, I believe, to Moscow and Tsaritsyn, which Tsaritsyn isn't a huge industrial place, I suppose, but it's still, you know, it's still a town, still a city, that I can't click on, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and go through a few things, such as uh, potential upgrades. Nah, I just restarted the game to, lo you know, loaded it up and stuff. Double check these guys. Albert, no. Middle East, you guys, nah, that's okay. So, here is the plan of action. Remember when I sent the divisions over here to help kind of look at the front line? Well, we're not gonna let them just sit there anymore. What we're gonna do, we're gonna move them to the eastern front once again. And this time, my plan is to spearhead into Astrakhan, or at least getting close to Astrakhan. I guess we're gonna spearhead into Elista and cut off the Caucasus from the rest of the Russian Empire, take them out, crush Georgia, and then continue to do the same thing and push into the Urals. That is the plan for this episode. If we can do that, if we can capitulate the Russian Empire in this episode, I will feel very accomplished. If not, you know, whatever. Right now, we have a, a deficit of heavy tanks, which makes sense, and heavy fighters, but, and fighters in general, not heavy fighters, but regular fighters, which is coming online better and better. Some Chinese group wants to help me out, and I say thank you, Chinese group. But I have another idea. Ooh, a Russian ship was sunk. What if we invaded the Union of Britain? We're just going to bypass the Commune of France. If we can whoop the, you know, the syndicalists, British boys up here, that might be pretty good. And they are syndicalists. Good, good. And actually, this is really ugly, but America is just disgusting. The French Republic wants Florida back. The PSA, well, they're getting gangbanged by Mexico on two sides. You know, the Canadian Mexico and Mexico Mexico. And then Canada is just kind of not trying really hard, I guess. They did take, is that Uper? The Uper place up here? And then the, the PSA has done some encirclements here, but it's really weird. Oh, the Kaiser economic policy. Three years after Black Monday, our economy is slowly recovering. This could be a time to invest to further secure our national interests in our Heimat. Ooh, nice. That's a lot of stability. In our colonies. Casablanca, Cook and China. Oh, I know where Cook and China is because I played Victoria too. Wait. Why would I invest in them? Hold on. Invest in our sphere of influence, less stability, Lithuania gets investments, the United Baltic Duchy gets investments as well. <clears throat> Something tells me the United Baltic, Baltic Duchy doesn't really care. Uh, and then announce a new economic co cooperation plan with our neighbors. German investments, Holstein, Hanover, Holland, Denmark? Well, they've proven to be less than great sometimes, but they're still in our plan for now, so. Um... I think Heimat's pretty good. We, we get four civilian factories and an easy 15% stability. Now that is just delicious. Love it. So let's get our guys over there. They're only infantry and one tank division. And that's a light tank division, but they'll get over there soon enough. And by soon enough, I mean right now. So last time we were planning on doing more encirclements with literal infantry, which is, eh, it is what it is. I wonder if I can push this way. Just smash these guys out. Since we got some guys on the line here, holding the line, yes, we can. I think there is a little bit of supply issues, especially the further to the north you go up, the more supply issues there are. Which is really not bueno. Really not bueno, as they might say in Spain, not Germany, but Spain. Uh, let's see. Good. Let's get our guys some planning speed, or some max planning, because that'll come in handy when we attack this way. Uh, 109 political power. No fuel, no fuel, but you know what? What else is new? Oh, good. Thank you very much. So that if I control, that's okay. Mm, what can I do with this stuff? Export focus, if you go to limited exports. That might be ideal, that might not be ideal. Hmm. That wouldn't really solve a lot of problems for us. Let's grab some more of that. We're currently building up tons and tons of refiners. We're building so many refiners, and I love it. But I need more. I need more fuel. We have only 9.8 thousand things of fuel a day. Only that much. Okay, it's cool. So we're suffering from a few attrition issues. That's fine. You guys come there. Take that so we can focus on that. Uh, and you guys go there. And then go down there. The tanks will probably be very quick about this if we can do okay. I want to take the air base just in case. Uh, then you guys come that way, which, yeah, I know. Whatever. And then cut them off. Go, go, go. Oh, they, we don't have their superiority, which makes sense. So be it. Suck for them is done. Cryptology. We're still trying to decrypt the stuff for the Russian Empire. So be it. 
Good stuff. Now, the communards are not trying to fight me anymore. They're having problems, you know, whatever. Uh, what else can we do? I'm still trying to make heavy tanks right now. Which is, you know, a good thing to do. But, let's see, maybe days. Can we do anything here, maybe? Eh, it's, eh, it's not really super important. Come on, guys, break through. I know the game's laggy, but you can do it. You can do it. It's in the Metz Metzer division. Cool. Oh, we lost the plane. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. This is where we're concentrating hard on. If we can get this tile, at least we can build up more infrastructure here, which would be great. We could use a little bit more supply, which means we need to use less supply. And who can't give me my goods? The Princely Federation? Come on. No? Okay. Oh. Just, hmm. There you go. Middle Africa! Thank you. Burma! Thank you. I'm going to give you guys just just go. Just go. Night Assault Tactics. More land night attack. Let's get some more organization for most of our divisions. That would be quite bueno. We've got some supply coming through here, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome to have. I'd love to attack here, but could we do it? Yes, we probably can. Can you both come here? 29 so far. We're going to wait until we can get guys down there. We might get in circle down south, but you never know. Sunk an enemy convoy. Good stuff, good stuff. I really would love more tanks. Oh, that tank is just heading to town. Uh, good. Yeah, keep the guy there. Can we start... Oh, this is Ukrainian lands now. That's fine, whatever. Cut him off, tanks. Cut him off. Oh, you're doing a great job. Beat him up. Collapse of the Pacific States? Interesting. What the heck? Oh my god, Mexico. Why would you do that? Oh, goodness gracious. Now, North America is probably going to fall completely into syndicalism, which is not ideal. Quite not ideal. Just in case, you guys can just come down that way. Take that tile, too. The tanks just break through there. We've got two tiles, two tiles, until so we can crush the Caucasus. Just absolutely crush them. You don't even have to win here. Just hold them off. Ace pilot promoted. Great. If you want to win, I'll give you some support. Come on, you got this. And, come on, we did it. Move immediately north to meet those enemies. You guys. Ooh, I do want to try another general attack, but only when we have a general frontal attack. Only when we have enough supplies. We could kill that division off probably too. Oh, Logistics 3, great, just what I wanted. How about Logistics 4? It's a little bit too ahead of time though. Recon. Entrenchment? Engineer support? Sure. Why not? Nice, we sunk a destroyer. Australasian, Australasian Confederation claims Melanesia. Pursuing a revanchist policy which calls the Andrus Inductions laid a claim to Milesian Islands, citing that they were the only lost two to Germany's assumption of control following the Veld Creek and that they are part of the Australasian Confederation's eminent domain. Whether they intend to pursue this claim's same, a scene remain to be seen. Ah, I can't words. I can't, you know, speak. Good. Good. This is good. Now, I want you guys to focus down this way. That's too many divisions, something like that. Single line, so that everyone else can focus going up that way, for the most part. Ukrainians will probably push a little bit when this is all done and good. Awesome, that stretches their line out too, which is awesome to see. Alright, let's bounce these out. If possible, I might... Uh, this is extremely dangerous. Can we just take the oil fields away? If we can get those... I mean, Azerbaijani oil fields. Oh my goodness. Don't tempt me with a good time. Mm, let's see. Extraction. I think extraction is pretty important. Even though it's 1942, we have still have other things we could do. Oh, look, we got enough rubber. Don't worry about the colonies. Thank you. Steel. Give me one more steel from the Swedish state. Thank you. That's okay. We can only produce over 10,000 fuel, and it's still not enough. Never enough. Can I get any more fuel from anyone? Bulgaria. Why must you hurt me so? Uh, I can still get... That's still more fuel than I can get from anyone else, so... Oh, Iran! Thank you, Iran. That is over 12,000 fuel. That's still not enough, I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, look, it looks like the Russians might be hurting for supplies. I want you guys to go, if you can. I want you to go crazy and take their tiles down here. That's important. That's incredibly important. Ooh, that's nothing, but oh, so there's a little bit of a navy there. That's good. Cut off the caucuses. Take whatever we can. Take everything that isn't nailed down. And maybe we can capitulate the Georgians. Nice. 150 political power. Let time go on. Tank designer. We have heavy tanks. Heavy tank. Production cost. Minus 15% actually would not be bad. More hardness. Ooh, what do we want? Well, we can always change it later. Oh, more breakthrough? Yeah, but heavy tanks are already pretty good. If I can make more, because we're going to lose them quite a... Probably lose quite a bit. But reliability and breakthrough, that's really good. The Mon. And eh, go Adler, because I never take Adler. Then again, I never play the German Empire. So, now they're trying to hit us. Shame on them. Shame on them. They should have guarded their borders better, but they didn't. Bunch of suckers. Let's go that way. Take them out. You guys are looking great. Give me that cipher. Can I actually maybe make an encirclement this way? Mm, supply is very bad, so probably not. Let's see. How are we going to beat them up? we got enough guys around here helping out. I don't want you guys to come there, and then you guys come there. We'll maybe encircle one more Russian infantry division. Oh boy, what's going on? We found a small little fleet of... Is that... Venezuelan guys with other ships. Oh my goodness. Convoys going bye-bye. Screens also going bye-bye. But mostly convoys. Good. Sink the hell out of them. Sink, sink, sink. Look at that. Oh yeah. All those capital ships and carriers and extra planes. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's some good stuff. Oh yeah. Now that's a victory. We only lost two planes in exchange for all those guys. Oh yeah. And good. Just go ahead and repair. Y'all did a great job with no fuel. Yeah, we did with no fuel. That's amazing. Piloting all those planes, steering all them ships. It's a tough job when you got no fuel. Oh my goodness, did we get all that fuel? Oh, look at that. We need less steel from the Swedish state, thank you, and less rubber fun. Are we? We are currently independent of other people's need, or un other people's resource regarding rubber. That is awesome. Ah, uh, they're not doing so well now. Good. This was a hopefully smartish plan for me to just go zoom 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 cut off the caucuses this is rightful German clay oh I can't wait to see what the Reich's pack looks like once we're done with these guys eh lost a plane lost a plane or two sunk a convoy might sink another convoy ah I love the subs do we have any radar around here and we only have level one that's really not good Invest in Panzer Factories, great! We want more radar. Now, we got some Panzer Factories. What are we going to do next? Grain and Steel sounds like fun. Conrad Zeus, Fort von Braun. Nuclear Tech Electronics sound like fun. I'm going to go with... The Plant? Independent Luftwaffe. Strategic Destruction? I want to go with Luftwaffe, but... These just don't inspire me too much. So let's go with the 1934 plan. The Kaiser Le Chat Marine stands unchallenged on the sea, for now. The Union of Britain, the French Communists, and the Americans, and the Japanese all jealously seek to catch up with us, and if left unchecked, our naval domination will end as quickly as it began. We should continue the large naval modernization project initiated back in 1934 to keep our fleet one step ahead of our rivals. Naval construction will begin, apparently, which is cool, but it is what it is. Uh-oh. Okay, so two French Republican subs were lost. So be it, whatever. Ah, oh, the invasion of 1942. Oh, this is so good. The caucus invasion. Uh oh, oh boy, we found some boys down here. Uh, you might want to go retreat a little bit. Let's go finish taking off all these lands so we don't have to garrison these areas. That'd be nice. That'd be good. It's doing great. The less supply or the less fronts we need to guard, the better. Oh, always helps if you encircle and destroy enemies. Always helps out. You guys beat them up, so you guys can down there, 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 there. Take the supply points and ports. That's important. Good. Just leave them. Leave this open so they feel like they're retaking their territory. So we can retake this stuff too. Great. Take it. Take it. Yep. We're defending some more lands. That's fine. Good. Mm. Don't let them move. Don't let them move. We're gonna cut them off if we can early. 
We got another division, another infantry division. Throw them on the Russian front because supplies not bad enough already, I guess. <laughs> uh, ooh, they our allies have abandoned the line in some areas. That is not bueno. Hmm. We're stretched out pretty thinly up here, though. Well, that is not good. You guys can do that, though. You guys can smack them down. Russia. Russia. Oh, look how close they are. They're like 80% of the way. 78% of the way. They've lost over 3 million men. And it's only going to get worse for them. Only going to get worse. You guys can do this. That's good. You guys can do that. That's good. You guys are going to wait. You guys are going to smack them down. Right there. Close up some holes. Close up... Other things, good, awesome. Actually, if I took that area, that'd be probably better, but I doubt I can win there just yet. Yeah, that's fine. Naval invasion in Maghreb. They really want Morocco, but Morocco's a good, strong nation. Look at this. So good. Alright, keep moving in, boys. Shrink them. You don't need to move that way. You come here. You guys come here. Tanks. Where's my tank? Well, that single tank division that was speeding through here. Oh, yeah. They're coming back. Oh, yeah. They're doing a great job. I love it. Good. Oh, they're trying to attack us? Well, we're just going to move on down and have a good time with them. Very good. I need you to go now, guys. Please keep going. Keep going. Ah, uh, gotta drink up, man. Drink up. Kaiser Wilhelm says, drink up. Good, get rid of their airbase. They don't need it. Where they're going, they don't need it. Hey, Sochi. Oh, what's going on here? Negative political power. Where did I get that from? Oh, what are the tanks? What are you, what are you doing, son? Uh, send one guy that way. Send one guy that way. Uh, at least we took their fuel away from them, which is awesome. We gave it to the Ukrainians, too. Actually, speaking of fuel... Oh, you're on. Panzerfaust. Good. Better... Yeah, it's finally time for us to get better. Uh-oh. Okay, we only lost a couple planes. That's, that's okay. Yeah. Good. This is really disgusting down here. Really disgusting. You don't attack. You just support the attack. You support the attack. But you're gonna move up. You're gonna have a good time. You're gonna move up so well, you're gonna come right to there as these guys move over here. They don't want to die, we'll make them die. There you go. Ah, oh, Georgia, you chose the wrong person to ally with. Great. Get down to Sochi. Mm, cut him off. Cut him off right there. If we can. We probably won't be able to, but that's okay. Oh, good. The tanks are moving up. We've taken the Georgian capital. That's not enough to capitulate them, though. Hmm. Just kind of stay in the capital. Stay in the capital. Oh, I just deleted orders for everyone. God dang it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. They know what to do. If not, I'll tell them what to do. Manually. Even though I feel like I'm already telling them manually what to do anyways. Because I totally am actually telling them what to do manually. Cool. Don't lose their capital if they can't... Actually, where's their capital now? That's, it is Sochi. That's, that's fine. Whatever. Good. We beat them in Sochi. Good. We've encircled a few more divisions. We're going to smash them to bits. And we might be able to get a little bit more fuel. What if the Ukraine can use that fuel? Hmm. Okay. Wait, why am I in this piece deal? What the heck? Um... Why am I involved in this? I'll just give it to Canada, because... You know what? So there's, there's no easy way to do this. Yeah, that makes no sense. I'd rather just do it like this. Mark, mark, mark. 
hopefully this this might actually break the game maybe I hope it doesn't but it doesn't really matter this all belongs to the Entente so since I think Mexico's in the third international too let's go ahead and transfer that over mark transfer West Virginia Kentucky Tennessee Alabama Mississippi Louisiana North Texas Southern Texas New Mexico Let's see what states did I miss? I think Michigan, I think I missed. And boom! Oh, I did. I missed quite a few. Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, South Dakota, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. I think that's it. This all belongs to the Dominion of Canada, which is fine enough with me. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can't be allowed to exist, guys. Sorry, but not really sorry. Netherlands. Let's see, do these guys exist anymore? Oh. Yeah, don't want to forget about Guantanamo Bay. Looks like they do not exist anymore, which is great. Hopefully Canada will release America. There it goes. They were annexed. That's good. Which isn't making sense. And Brazil's invaded those people. Okay, whatever. Oh, is there an encirclement here? Did I make another encirclement? I think I did. And Canada might be releasing a puppet. Please don't let America be led by monarchists. That'd be very, very weird. Oh boy. And it seems like the game might be crashing. Oh, oh, nope. It. Oh god, I hope it didn't crash. I hope it didn't crash. And the Pacific States are back with New England. Okay. For a second there, my mouse had a little spinning wheel. A farmer Labor Party under Henry Wallace. Authoritarian Democrats, but they released... America as a social democratic country. All right, they got 11 manpower for the nation. Oh, and I bet these aren't even these aren't. Oh, they're not even cores. Oh, that's so bad. Uh oh, boy, America's not America. America is not America. Okay, so how long is it going to take to, for Georgia to collapse? We don't have to have them collapse, but it'd be so much easier if they just did. If they just died, it'd be so much easier. Send them in. Good, you guys come down there. Do that. Do that. We cut those guys off, it'd be amazing. Um, they really want to attack you, huh? Yeah, you're not moving, boy. You ain't moving. You're moving up that way. You move up that way. You want to come up there. You guys come there. Good. I spot a really good potential in circle right there. I can move in here, that'd be awesome. Australia's in claims the South Pacific. Australasia, you're hurting Entente Reichspac relations. That's not a good thing. God, trying to kill these guys off is incredibly annoying. Alright. Muster yourselves down this way. Crush every single one of them. Smash them. Cut these guys off. And we just got cut off. Yeah, no. If you want to like that, come on. Get this way. Ooh, anti-34 plan. Great. We're gonna focus on battleships, because why not? You guys can read that event. I'm gonna just keep going on for right now, so I really want to focus on battleships. Oh, supply lines. Oh, I don't have Singapore. That makes sense. Um, Raider, Erch Raider. What are we doing for our naval doctrine? Fleet in being. So that's why we're surrounded by battleships. Fleet in being. Base strike. Fleet being so well. Heed Dunitz's words. The highly respected and talented Carl Dunitz reminds us that the success of ocean-going navies is dependent on them actively controlling the seas. Our fleets should strive for large, decisive battles and destroy op opposition before they get a chance to intercept our supply routes. This doctrine has been dubbed Prezen's Flotilla. Flotilla. Good. That should help us a little bit, maybe. We're getting attacked. Oh, yeah. Smash those horses. For now, hold. We're getting these guys in there, which would be good. Throw you right here. Just hold. And circle. And this was all part of the plan to encircle another horse division. Uh, don't let him move. Oh, actually, don't let these guys. Stop, stop, stop. Come on. Stop. Go that way. Oh, everyone's moving. All right, well, whatever. Oh. A marine division. Go up. And they died. Great. 
not get encircled, or they won't get encircled with this, doing stuff like this. And what the hell else do we need to get from Georgia? I mean, come on. Just capitulate. You're out of victory points. Except right there. And Batu. That's it. Move in, move in. Get, get, suck him. Suck him. What happened here? What the hell? That don't look good. Crush him. I uh, need insulin. Yemen requested an old ship. Yemen, a nation in southern Arabia, has been attempting to build a navy for months now, with success occurring on rare occasions. In order to help kickstart the project further, Yemen is asked to purchase the SMS Kaiser Wilhelm de Grossa, which was built at the turn of the century. Considering the decent price Yemen is offering for a ship that this old, there's little reason to refuse its request. Oh, hell yeah. Good. Take advantage of every opportunity that we have. Any opportunity we do not take advantage of is a bad, bad mistake. Good. Yeah, I'm really disappointed that the French aren't attacking more. Like I said that in every episode, but I'm still disappointed. You cause the war, but you don't want to do the war. What is wrong with you? Good, move that way. Good, move that way. Hey, look! Another encirclement. Good, we're gonna get suck em. Ah, uh, claims New Guinea. Yeah, I really don't care. Australia's and Confederation, you're not getting anything out of this war. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. Finally, they have given up. The Ukraine now owns this section of the Caucasus, at least for now. And the advanced computing machine. Great. Don't let them move. You guys come down that way. Cool. I want better radar. We need it. So it can help find things in the English Channel. You guys come that way. Great job, guys. We have killed off quite a few enemies. 100,000 of those fellows down there. Great. Let's finish this up with these last six divisions. Well, four. Oh, well, make that three. Two, one, none. Good. Beautiful. Now that's German engineer. It's all part of the plan. That was one hell of an offensive. And from here on out, I'm going to do other offenses with von Rundstedt. We're going to come to Astrakhan next. We're going to snipe little places off every single time. Russia, during this entire time, has been building up a little bit more, which is unfortunate, but they're cut off from fuel. They are done with fuel, probably. Let's see, resource-wise. Supplies, resources. Look at that fuel. 50. 50 fuel. Do they have any fuel over here? They might. I don't see any fuel. Uh, I don't see... We are now host German East Asia as government in exile. The current legitimacy is 100. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I left them to the Japanese, which makes sense, so, you know, whatever. I don't see any fuel for the Russians. Oh, no, no, no. East Asian XL leader offers services. Hello, you look very Asian. Uh, what do we know? So, in five days, we can do a mammoth attack against the enemy. Oh, do we know? Oh, yeah, I think we own Sarts and looks good. Operations. Prepare a collaboration government. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you guys are ready to do another little encirclement. Good. Do that. Then without you, go right there. Without you, go right there. Without three, you come right there. Cut him off. Godspeed. Gott mit uns. That should do pretty okay. And Germany's Asia obviously can't give me anything. They just capitulated. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, we can. We broke through cyphers too. Do that. Oh my goodness. <gasps> We're getting 16,000 fuel. That's all we needed, just a casual 16,000 fuel to maybe get enough fuel for everyone. Oh my goodness. Good. Even more, though. More, more, more. Pour that fuel on me and maybe not. Maybe, maybe don't douse me in fuel. Well, maybe if you want to. I'll get some more of that rubber. Now we'll be operating our ships at full capacity. Well, some of them. We're not even using all our ships. Good. We're doing a great job. Cut them off again. Get those tank boys in there. And what is our deficit like? We got plenty of guns. 100,000 guns in reserve. We need 300 more heavy tanks. Nine. Actually, we're good on other tanks. Heavy tanks. Independency battalions. Expand or expand Wilhelmshaven. We require an expanded port for basing both our submarines and our larger fleets. Investing into the crucial Kaiserliche Marine base at Wilhelmshaven is a good start for accomplishing this. We get two dockyards and two naval bases. Oh, I love it. That's a plane. That's, that's okay. Because right now we got a little surplus, a tiny surplus of planes here. Here in the English Channel, we could probably actually use a hundred fighters. Oh, we got quite a bit of close air support. Mm -hmm. 
More naval bombers. Good. Close air support. Be nice. Give me a hundred more planes around here. Cool. If you shoot a hundred, you're gonna do that section. Uh, close air support. You are going to do close air support stuff over there. And then you guys are deploying. I've already told you what to do. And naval bombers, you're gonna continue to try to smack the crud out in the English Channel. We got better engineers, but is it time for better artillery? I think so. Great. Steel. Alright, so we just state we need just one more thing of steel from you. That looks looking good. Yemen can't give me the goods after we let them buy a ship from us, so be it. Ukraine. Defeat in the East. After prolonged struggle in our positions in East Asia, it seems that we have lost our major, last major base in the region. With East Asia on a lockdown and the incapability of our adversaries to realistically hit us in Europe, the best course of action seems to sign a peace with them and withdraw from East Asia. Come together for peace. Um, I really don't want to go to war, but hell no. I'd rather take the hit. Like, I'm not going to get, go to war, continue the war in Asia or anything like that. But no, no. You don't deserve that. That is rightful German clay that I'm never going to get to. And that's an okay thing. Right, we just did it. We have another instrument. The Japanese can go say bye-bye to their lives from the Entente if they're fighting the Entente. I don't know. Good, good, good. Up them up. Agent injured. Oh, that's not good. And they just capitulated. Oh my god, yes, 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 we did it, my friends. We have capitulated the Russian Empire. They came back from the clutches of defeat earlier. Well, they could have died to, you know, succumb to, you know, syndicalists. But my god, that is a victory on the Eastern Front. Now we actually share a border with the... Ooh, injured. injured. Ooh, Japanese. He'll be back to fight soon enough. But, uh... Yeah, I don't think I want to do that right now. I'm not really interested in this campaign. United Provinces of China. That's actually really cool. That's really, really cool. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Oh, and the Indo-Chinese Union is not part of them. Interesting. Regardless, something tells me we got to start focusing on this group. So, I'm going to leave... Let's see. I'm going to divide your army up. Heinz Guderian, you did a great job, and you'll say a tank commander. But for now, you have too much infantry for me to feel really good about you. We're leading all these all these guys to three, because these guys, whether they like it or not, they're going to be on the the seas, and by being on the seas, I mean they're going to invade the Union of Britain. Some of these guys are. Good. You, come on back here. You, uh, I'm going to put you over here. Mm. You can still put them under them. That's fine for now. We have level four, five for now would be okay. To leave as a garrison force against the potential Japanese threat, which is, you know, very, very important to deal with. If you can, make your way this direction. Something like that. There you go. If I can get some supplies through here, that would be most ideal. Plop, 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 plop. Because fighting through Siberia is going to be a pain in the butt. And we'll get those refineries done soon enough, and we'll get the decision to release some states. Portugal's looking amazing in Finland, and let's release a couple guys. Morocco, we're hosting them as well. That's okay. That's okay. No worries. Ex extraction campaign. Nice. More daily ex... Oh, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. We got enough command power for that. Let's do that. Donations from them? Factory donations. Joint training. Oh, we get more uh, XP, which is awesome. Weapons for East Asian resistance. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Let's do that. All right, the fate of several different unions. Uh, the fate of White Ruthenia. Honestly, they shouldn't exist. I want to give all that land to the Ukraine, to be frank with you. But we can do the fate of well, Don Kuban Union. Liberate a loyal Don Kuban Union. I would, I would really, really though want to give some territory to the Ukraine because they did so well. The fate of Central Asia. How about Georgia? Restore the Kingdom of Georgia. Um, Azerbaijan, uh, liberate them. It's going to make the game lag even worse. Well, whatever. Liberate Armenia. Unless they have cores down here, I might just give it all to Georgia. Uh, fate of Central Asia. A Central Asian Federation partitioned it into two states, into minor states. No way. <laughs> Military occupation is the only answer. 
a Central Asian Federation is the most powerful that we can think of right now. Mm, very good, very good. And we get Central Asian Federation. Good. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do with White Ruthenia. Uh, I just want the Ukraine to take all their stuff. Bring them back into our sphere. I don't want them to exist. They betrayed us. So I want to give all their lands to the Ukraine. Alright, so this is all their lands, huh? Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care if if you, the Ukraine wants to release them as a puppet, so be it. But frankly, these traitors deserve no mercy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give a little bit to Poland, too, probably. Give him this. Smash that over. Minsk. Mark. Uh, transfer that to them. That does not look very good, does it? Uh, what, Ruthenia? So be it. The Ukraine can deal with that. And this is proper Ukrainian territory for now. Brest. That's an occupied state. You know what? That's looking pretty ugly. Let's give them this, too. It's kind of a Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And then we'll release Russia as well. Soon enough. Well, you know, let's do it anyways. So. Balkanize Russia as much as possible without releasing Siberia. Oh my goodness. Estonia State. We can release so many things. Holy crud. Or at least it looks like it. Estonia becomes a puppet of the Netherlands. Or, I mean, of us? German Empire? Nah, we, we fought too hard to integrate in there. Release a friendly Russia. Balkanize as much as possible, releasing Siberia. Uh, just... Yeah. Liberate a friendly Russia. That's fine with me. And we'll get, build up some infrastructure in their lands. Because they could be a, a, an extremely good buffer state between us and Japan. And since it'll be my puppet, I can build in their lands, which will be a great, great thing. The Reich's Pact is going to look so good now. Just don't look at the individual country's borders. That's a no-go. Any day now. Uh, the game is lagging, obviously. But whatever. You know, whatever. Come on. Any day now. You might want to skip a minute ahead to see if I we're done lagging or not. Come on. And there we go. Look. It just had changed colors. Cool. Let's make sure we have... Oh, we're building infrastructure in here still. So, here, good. Good, 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 my friends. Good. Now that was a victory. But it was only on one front. We still have another front to think about. So, let's double check. Let time go on for a single day first. The Russian front, you guys are going to go that way. Uh, I don't think we need that many divisions to help take out the Union of Britain. You all, Moroccan exile leader offers his services. Your fight is not over yet, my friend. But it will be someday. Good, you guys all come there. Oh my god, we actually have some fuel, guys. We have fuel. Oh, we have oh, we have more carriers we can throw in there. Um, there we go. Actually, we got 21 more subs. We got 10, 10. Awesome. You guys are docked. Claim Yeah, no, you're not getting Singapore, you piece of garbage. Good. I told you to do stuff. Oh, cool. Assigned fleet area. We don't need to be up here anymore. Next up, the North Sea. I want you to raid the hell out of the North Sea. That's what I want. Not good, but there's a lot of Moroccan leaders down here. Or over here. Good, you guys are did Amazing. Walter Model will be known in history as the liberator of Russia. Oh, oh you know what? No, 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 no. You're not getting this territory. No, 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 no. Um, no, that's a rut. No, 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 no. I purposely gave this to Poland. Now they give it back, you know. So be it. Actually, that's not too bad. That's really not too bad. Kind of like it. If anything else would make it look really ugly. But they give it back to Russia, so be it, you know. I try to give the Polish at least a little bit, the Polish-Lithuanians. Yeah, they give it back. God dang it, you bunch of Poles. 
I know. Terrible, right? Azerbaijan. And our guys are making it this way because they are slowly invading us over here, which is not bueno. Ooh. Build it up, build it up, build it up. But, unfortunately, that is where we're going to end today's episode. Tomorrow, we will begin an invasion. Oh boy, that's not good. Of the Union of Britain, and perhaps maybe even an invasion of the coming of France. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked today's episode. If you did like me taking out Russia and adding them to the Reich's Pact, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we invade the sinless country of the Union of Britain. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.